CNN. Here's what it might be like to travel on a double decker airplane seat. Oh my! Oh, so here is the first person to get her legs chopped in half <laughs> on an airplane. Hold on, what's the bottom say on there? Uh, airplane seat desire Alejandro Nunez Vicente Good reckons name. his double decker airplane seat could revolutionize budget air travel. <laughs> I saw someone's tweet. I said, oh, that's awesome. It was like, yeah, that's awesome. You got fucking farts in your face. Yeah. Yeah. I like that oh. we're trying something, but I don't think this is the long-term solution. No, no way. Uh, that seems... fellows like myself will not fit in that seat. What about the person that has to go into the middle, and how the fuck do they how get, do get out? get up yeah. there yeah. or out? Yeah. Also, and... why didn't they have someone who's actually flown on a plane before fucking <laughs> design this thing other than this dipshit? Do you think that thing slides down? What do you mean? No, like thing? Connor said, oh, like, that thing, like, first bit of turbulence, something's coming loose. <laughs> yep. that's, that's acting like just a big guillotine. It's <laughs> yeah. Everyone's you legs. Break your knees. Yeah. Yeah, from the knees down. Break your knees. You'd be lucky if they're still attached to your body <laughs> after this thing falls down. Oh, Could you man. imagine having to take a dump and you're in the middle oh, of one of these things? Oh, oh my God. No, you're done. Yeah, you're Dude. screwed. Uh, that, I'm gonna poop my pants. That might be like on the tickets. <laughs> like you, you have to acknowledge like there's a chance you're gonna poop your pants yeah. on this flight. Or, and then or the person right behind you is gonna be forced to basically put, eat it in their mouth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, that's even worse. I mean, they might have to hand out diapers with these seats, but they I could see them working maybe. I mean, the plane's gonna crash because there's too much weight probably, but I could it could work. We have found a way to add another 850 <laughs> passengers to every single. <laughs> I didn't know the airplane uh, business was hurting this bad. I thought people were flying again. Oh, that's hurting pretty bad, I think. Oof. Yeah, I, I flew over the weekend, and pretty no, much it's every bad. flight was delayed. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Everyone was bitching, yeah. Don't they have no workers? Yeah, yeah that's, that's a big part yeah. of that, I think. Worker shortage, and then the, the but diesel. But people want to fly, though. Yeah. Yeah, and I'd guys say. who are working are showing up at the airport and getting knocked silly like that guy a couple weeks ago. <laughs> oh. Yeah. He tuned up. Yeah, getting tuned up and then getting fired. Uh huh. Hey, what are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, I mean, shit. I hey, that, that's fine, one. baby. What? That's right. I didn't see that one. Yeah, no, you yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. We talked about it. It was like the, it was like a one-two punch. Oh, it was like yeah, the yeah, former yeah, yeah, C- yeah, yeah, CFL yeah. player yeah, who yeah, yeah, yeah. did who started the entire thing, yeah. but the video was cut to make it look like it was the other guy's fault. Yeah, I was insane. Oh, I thought it was the other way around. <laughs> no, I think the employee was the one who was like kind of trying to, and he gets smacked in the face first, and yeah, then he smacks the other guy. But that's where the other. Then he gets, then he gets then he wild. Got, he got, yeah, he gets absolutely bonked on the side of the head. Yeah, be careful when you're flying. No one's really happy when they're in an airport. All sure. right.